Smart 42451. We're going to be doing both the serpentine belt and the AC compressor belt. First off, for part numbers, it's a Bando. Uh, it's 4PK0800. Second one, it's all in German, as far as I can tell. Part number here is 44788 from Febby. And what we're going to be doing is going to climb underneath the vehicle. I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So you can get simple little uh, ramps here. And you'll notice, see if I can get you a good view. This is your belt tensioner. Over here is a 3 8 hole. I'm going to take a 3 8 socket and you will squeeze it to either a socket or you can get a, a breaker bar. And what you want to do is you're going to shove it into this hole. You're going to turn it clockwise and you're going to release this belt right here. This is the one for the alternator and water pump. Once you turn this, I'm going to have to do all this off camera. I'm just going to show you what to do. Once you turn it from here, do not do not turn here because you'll unscrew it. Once you turn it, you're going to release it here and we're going to take the belt off. So what we ended up doing was I was incorrect. That is not a 3 8 hole. That looks more like a hex. I have no idea what size that is, but what I ended up doing was just prying this up against the steel down enough to where I can put a just some kind of a hex key in here to lock the tensioner out and now it's the belt is free so at this point this is the it connects to the crank it goes up to the alternator up there and then the water pump right over here so it's the alternator water pump belt I'm gonna pull this guy off uh, I need two hands so I'm gonna basically take this off and show you which belt this is for and then we're gonna go for the AC belt so for the alternator and water pump that connects to the crank it's going to be this part number here the belts match they are four rib smooth back and on the original belt that i pulled off it is a smart branded belt there's the part number if you want to go get the original but that's what the original belt was we have this belt for that so i'm assuming this febby is going to be the size for the ac belt but Next thing, we're gonna go ahead and tackle the AC belt. Let's pull that out. One of the biggest problems with this AC belt is there is, as far as I can tell, there is no tensioning system. I can't even get any light in there, it's so tight. There's no tensioning system to just, you know, release the tension on the AC compressor to release this. So the way we're gonna do it is I'm gonna get the nut for this. We're going to crank this either clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm just going to go clockwise just to keep everything consistent. And we are going to raise the belt on the other side over there, so you can see. But on this side, we're going to be pushing the belt away from this clutch, from this pulley and clutch. And we're going to spin the crank slowly. And at the same time, we will slowly back the belt off of this. And that's how we're going to get the new one on as well. We're going to loop it over here. I'm going to start at the top and then we're going to crank and put the new belt on the same way. There is a plastic tool. I believe I've seen some people selling to make it easier, but I'm going to do this by hand just to show that it can be done. Because this is very difficult to do and film because as you can see, there is no space in here. I can barely get my light in here. I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm explaining how it's going to be done. I'm going to get a nut. I'm going to walk it off the top as we're spinning clockwise. And we're going to basically maybe use like a nylon pry tool and just get this belt off and walk the new one on. If you can't walk it off, that means you're probably not going to be able to walk the new one on. So do not simply cut this belt unless you don't want AC, but do not cut the belt. Just walk it off and then walk the new one on. Unless you want to risk it, it's up to you. I might even try that. But let's get this new belt on. As you can see, I got the new Febby belt on there. And the way I got it on was exactly how I explained. I loop the belt through here. It'll be a little tight through the tensioner area. You just kind of shove it in there, spin it. It'll feed itself through. Put it onto the top over here. Hold the belt on and spin this and it'll just wind itself over it. After I did this, I lied, put my head right here and I was looking up on the inside of the belt on the upper portion and I kept spinning it to make sure there was no damage to the belt. Belt looks perfection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other belt on. Should be pretty easy that the tensioner is preset. We're gonna put the new belt on, route it in here, pull the tension pin, we should be done. 
as you can see everything's on we pulled our pin just gonna put this ratchet on here just to show you everything spins everything's fine all the belts are on and that's it and those of you that are curious I did end up just cutting the other belt. Here's the part number. It's gonna be alpha 001-993-4596 forward slash 002. I'm assuming 002 is probably the revision number for this belt. It's made by Gates. If you wanna get an OEM belt or if you wanna just go straight to Smart and get an OE belt. There we go and that's how you do it. Everything's done. Start it up, make sure everything is good and should be all done. Hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.